All right, so here we go. Apologize if you hear any other noises storming out, so kind of out of my control, but been itching to get back to this since wasn't able to record yesterday or whatnot, but yeah, I mean, um, in the previous part, actually a, a decent amount happened in the previous part. We re, uh, went through or re-saw the, uh, conversation or, like, speech that Zenith was giving to the people of Orano's town, and it still never really explained how he has, like, actual influence in the town or whatnot, because it's only this specific town, but it's not really explained, right, how he kind of, it's almost like as if he's the mayor or something, but obviously that's not a thing, you know. But I mean, so he was giving like the speech or whatnot, right, to the townspeople, ultimately about the uh, Deoxys or like the Pokerus virus, which turns you into half human, half Deoxys going around or whatnot. And apparently he was saying it as if it was widespread, but apparently still only Mald and Zenith are the people who have it, like as he was talking about later. But I mean, at the, the people of the Torn region or whatnot, they're already like, they're basically like brainwashed already so as he himself put it so it's not really that outlandish but the question is or the question was okay how does the infernal cult benefit from this because they're presumably in the middle of executing their final plan which involves using ground on at the mount base or what on the mountain and ultimately like capturing the rain team leader which we know is the seventh gym leader so it Ultimately, they would need to gain something from this. By they would need to gain something from going out of their way to going out of their way to execute their uh, grand plan. So that was the question. We sort of, we said that okay, he's not going to be like Rukron, just straight up inject them with the Poki Rust because there's seemingly zero benefits to the Infernal Cult. And then ultimately, it was revealed that they do benefit from this. The uh, vaccines, quote unquote, that he's given out ultimately just i guess they bra they pretty much straight up brainwash the uh people who receive them into infernal cultists or whatnot and ultimately like not even necessarily infernal cultists but just people who are loyal to zenith's will at least until you beat them in a battle as was revealed but i mean yeah so that's kind of what he's doing he took a slight detour zenith is very opportunistic because this was presumably just an on-the-spot plan he had like, because this soon could be something he anticipated as, you know, it was only recent that the uh, Pokerus virus, like, became a thing involving Mald and Damien. So it's not like this was part of his plan. It was just something, you know, he did, given the opportunity. So, yeah, and then the question was, I, I remember it being referenced earlier that the uh, Infernal Cultists were actually semi-brainwashed, like the standard Infernal Cultists. But if that's the case, you know, maybe this is, maybe all of the Infernal Cultists are brainwashed in this matter. We don't know, but I swear that it was referenced earlier in the game that Infernal Cultists were brainwashed into being members of the Infernal Cult, which doesn't really make sense given it's the oldest cult, so you'd think it'd be the most well-established. But if that's the case, then, you know, opportunities like this may simply be how, you know, he recruits members. Every single member in the Infernal Cult could likely be sort of bent to Zenith's will or whatnot, but uh, that doesn't really make sense again. It really doesn't make sense for like, but again, we don't know. If if that is the case, then even though it doesn't make sense, it's the case, right? So, yeah, I mean, that was really interesting ultimately. And then obviously it ended with a battle regarding one of the um, brainwash people. She actually beat us the first time, which kind of sucks because it wasn't even like a former a proper boss battle. It was like a pseudo boss battle. But I mean, the second time we're able to win. So just once I swap Pokemon around or whatnot, really wasn't that difficult. I mean, yeah, at least once I figured it out. But yeah, now we're going to go back to it and then hit up the next route, which actually has a couple of stuff or like a couple of things that we can do along the route. One is to, and this was actually regarding one of the people in Orano's town, we can find like a family heirloom or whatnot, give it to him. And I think he gives us like, I don't even know. I mean, it, it was something like, I can actually look. I'm on the wiki page. Let's see. The um, 
he gives it the he gives an ivy stone which is pretty nice uh just maxes out the ivies of one of the stats and then also regarding the peak of taxi guy he actually in case you noticed in the previous part when i used him he said i had a quest that involves uh collecting parts for the peak of taxi to upgrade it so that i can use fly as well that's what one of the people was referring to saying that they saw a peak of taxi flying or whatnot that's just what it is hmm. Yeah, I mean, that was really interesting regarding Zenith, because there's so many questions. Like, one, how does he have that much influence in Orano's town? Two, you know, how does he make the vaccine or whatnot? How is that a thing? Three, ultimately, okay, are all members of the Inferno call brainwashed via that method? And if so, that doesn't make sense. Or is it kind of split into two categories, people who are loyal to Zenith's will or legitimate members of the Inferno call, right? Ultimately, a lot of questions based on this that will likely go unanswered given their, the Inferno Call is presumably going to execute their grand plan or final plan. Like I mentioned, that they're, you know, playing. This was merely just a sidetrack for that plan, right? It was merely Tim taking in our opportunity. Like, it was just, this, this was completely irrelevant to his plan. It was just something that he did because it wasn't an inconvenience otherwise. So, let's get back into this. Um, and as I mentioned, what's preventing me from optimizing... I can't consider switching up my party or the members in my party, or I guess I should call it permanent party, because the six I'm using right now is my current permanent party. I can't consider switching them out or any adding any other new ones until I find the move remember. However, if you, I can actually go to Route 15. I was going to say, if you look at Route 15, there's sort of like two directions it goes in. Or, well, I guess, uh, no, technically only one, because I was thinking the town below it, you can possibly go to, but I actually don't think that's the case. So, yeah, I mean, huh, that's kind of unfortunate. I really want to find the move, remember, because I really am limited, because I'm kind of stuck with this current party, and that's not a bad thing. It's just that ever since kind of the you know, Diana battle, I was concerned switching up my party, but that's not a possibility until I get the, uh, what is it? Also, I presume that's uh, related to Tesseract, right? I guess I'm just going to save here and see if it's an encounter or one-off. It is, I'll just soft reset because I'd rather... W if it's like a standard Pokemon, well, if it's a Tesseract encounter, it should be special. But yeah, I was going to say, um, I really can't consider changing my team up until I find a move, remember. So it's not even that I want to. It's just that the opportunity or option will become available if that's, once that's the case. So let's use Tesseract. I'm pretty sure this is Tesseract related. Like, I mean, either that or I'm just wrong. So, okay, then I have no clue what the hell. Ooh, is that a trainer? I mean, did, wait, what? Oh, I was about to say, what happened to them? Did they go off screen? It's like in on this page, it makes me move like the wind. Okay, so it's actually not a trainer. That's actually kind of funny. Uh, yeah, I have no clue what those are. Okay, this is definitely a trainer though. So. Yeah, let's just, it's actually good that I have Demix out in front, given he looks like a fire breather. Time for battle. I'll show you what kind of fire can spit. Was he referring to, like, rap? <laughs> I'll tell you, rap battle. He's like, at least, oh, he's blue. Let's see. I'm level 60. Yeah, so the trainers are catching up. Because I used to be really over-leveled, in my opinion. At least regarding uh, the Diana battle. But I kind of uh, leveled well, I became more evenly leveled or leveled off at the uh, second taint. Or no, that was actually the third taint battle. The double battle. Oh, that's not good. Well, here's the thing. I was about to say, because it was not nasty plot, but crunches. So yeah, we were able to survive that. But, yeah, I mean, let's see. That's actually a decent amount. Not enough to level up, though. I guess if if Demix dies here, if Demix is going to die, I'd rather swap out Pyroar. I think I can one-shot it, but I need to bank on it not using an actual move. That's unfortunate. But I guess, like, one wild battle and he becomes level 69, so it's not the worst, like, case scenario. I'll just need to go back to heal and then trade up once. I don't know why I swapped in Spicy Ice, because it, that's actually, like, not effective at all against Pyroar. Should have swapped in sand. I was just kind of, but it was like a no, a yeah. But here's the thing, Spite. I was about to say, Spicy Ice is especially defensive, but I mean, that's, yeah, so I definitely need to go back and heal. That was just a no-brainer. I really don't know why I did that. Like, that honestly kind of sucks. 
like, oh well. So yeah, let's swap it out. Cause it's what? Fire normal and Jackbox knows in punch and it has flash fire too. So and crunch won't do anything because he's physically different. So yeah, I mean it's actually a fairly good combination of traits. So yeah, this will kill any damage you take. So yeah, just two shots in. That should completely kill actually. Yeah, it actually gets straight up with three shots. So I mean there's an art Yeah, that kind of sucks though you have to go back to the field, so. I guess I couldn't use Cooper as well because he likes to go about sped it with combat, but I mean, it was just the safer option to go to last Pokemon. Likely another fire type. I guess we'll see. Um, okay, that was actually probably the worst thing that could have come out. Yeah, uh, that's honestly kind of a pain in the ass because then I should have, well, it's not good against Cleaver either. Yeah, I need to swap. I just need to hope it doesn't use a uh, ghost type move. Like, that's honestly kind of a pain in the ass. That's like the one Pokemon that can counter my team. Okay, that's actually kind of annoying. I just need to hope that uh it breaks through. Yeah, that's kind of annoying that, because like the high level, like that's fine, right? But like having Pokemon, because Chandelure counters both Spicy Ice and Cleaver. It counters Demix, it counters uh, Jackbot. It counters like four out of six members of my team. The other two are super effective. Okay, that's not what you wanted. That's kind of obnoxious. If it even dies here, that's okay. So honestly, that's just kind of obnoxious. But yeah, we have to go back and heal anyway. So the results really two in a row. I don't even know. It's like fifty. I was about to say. I, I think. I don't know whether Hex works if for con that's honestly really this one trainer took out three of them. Hex honestly like honestly it was mainly just that Chandelure is such a good because the thing is like it's possible to have a team that's not countered by a single type like it's actually fairly like if you have a team that can be countered by a single type then that's like kind of working but I mean if you have a team that like my team can't get countered by a single type. Like my team's fairly, despite having two ice types, it's still very like diverse. But the the main issue isn't that. The main issue is like individual Pokemon countering your whole team. Like a combination of types and traits. Like Ghost Fire counters I even five out of six members of my team. Really, realistically, that counters five out of six members of my team. The only Pokemon it doesn't counter is Sandman, but like it's it's stuff like that, right? Where it's just like there's no way you can create a team that's not countered by like a single Pokemon. Because given how many there are, and sort of like it's this way, right? Okay, no, it's the wrong way. Given how many like different typings there are. And how many different Pokemon there are, like combinations or what? It's just impossible to create a team, and it's such an issue because Chandelures just keep showing up everywhere. Like every other battle or whatnot has like a sh well, no, not every art battle, but at least Diana had a she had a yeah, I think she had a Chandelure, and uh, now this that random trainer seemingly out of nowhere has a Chandelure, and it's honestly kind. Of, it really is a pain. Like you run a there's, because again, there's no way you can make it so that your entire team, like, is encountered by a single Pokemon, right? There's just way too many, and like, way too many combinations of types, way too many specific Pokemon out there to prevent, like, your team getting absolutely countered by one. Like, I know Magnezone's a good example, because, like, it resists pretty, uh, nearly every typing, actually. It's such a, it's such a great typing, but, like, that's, a good Pokemon that resists a lot. But I mean, Shin, like just for my team specifically, Chandelure counters pretty much the entire thing. So long as it outspeeds, because obviously if Demix outspeeds, also I'm just going to quickly level Demix up here, because it's literally one wild Pokemon battle. Please don't tell me I have a repel on. Do I actually have a repel? Because I just want to level them up, because I don't want to use like really, okay, there we go. But yeah, it's, it literally is Oh, hacks right there. That's not the most run again. That's not the most capable matchup, but I guess it's also kind of worth like the strategy. Hopefully this like I was gonna say, yeah, hopefully yeah, really. 
Really? Oh, wait, what? It didn't... Dragon Tail normally... Yeah. Does it switch to use... No, it switches to oppose... Yeah, Demic Screw level. That's honestly kind of a pain. I ran that Chandelure. <laughs> like, it really is such a pain. I wonder what's the chance I run to a Narf Chandelure by the end of this video. But yeah, so now Spicy Ice goes in the front. Because yeah, I just, I just, I knew it was one more battle, so I might as well just do it to get up to level 69. So yeah, and it, it, that kind of sucks that Sandman needed to take out that Chandelure, because he's already level 70, and I'm trying to keep training even. It's honestly kind of a pain, really is, but... Okay, let's see when in our... I, I just, I don't... Are we going to battle some of these people? Let's see. No matter what I do, I can't go as fast as that girl over there. Do you know why? Oh, it's because he, he's not on the uh, road, right? Because he's referring to this person, right? Are we going to see them or whatnot? Yeah, it's because she's on the road and he's not. That, that's actually pretty funny. But, yeah. I mean, is this like... So, what's down here? How do we get down here? I have no clue. Oh, there's a... Is that actually like a Pokeball or is it a trap? That's the uh, piece for the um, uh, Poke Taxi guy. So that's actually pretty nice. So that's down. Now we can just look for the family heirloom or whatnot. And again, I have no idea how to get to the lower level of like this area, really. One, okay, so of course it's of course it's a black belt. Oh, that's super effective against Spicy Ice as well. Okay, so he's only got one. That's like the worst. That actually is legitimately the worst possible Pokemon to go up against. Now I can't even use an electric type. I guess it's going to use a fighting type, right? I, I think I'm not going to swap into Cooper just to die. I'm just going to swap into Tetrox and use Psychic. Because Psychic isn't that effective against Steel, right? So it did use that. That actually kind of sucks. I was going to say Demix isn't actually effective. So, um, Cold Comet's going to. Here's the thing, though. We can take one more, and at minus two special defense, or Sphere should kill it. Oh, and use Extreme Speed instead. Okay, so it's about the same amount, so please kill it. God damn it. Because it was at, what, minus two? That's honestly obnoxious. But, I mean, I'm not going to use him or whatnot, or Demix. Later, I mean, I can just grab the rest of my level 69, so I'm not going to go back and heal. Here's the thing, right? I guess, yeah, I think Cleaver should outspeed Lucario, right? Is that something I'm willing to risk, though? I'm not sure it's something I'm willing to risk. That's, yeah, I'm not willing to risk it because close combat with one shot. I'd rather survive and just, like, kill it with flame. Honestly, I don't even need to use flame charge. I can use drain punch just to get the extra HP or whatnot because, yeah, that actually did a decent amount. Because Jackbox is normally physically defensive. I'm surprised it did that much, but yeah, uh, that's kind of obnoxious, but and then do we get leftovers here before the battle ends? I don't know. Yeah. It keeps it sucks that I keep running to like Pokemon that perfectly counter. Like Lucario, that was possibly the best counter to spicy ice. I mean, like just a steel type. Let's see. Yeah, steel type's actually a great counter to spicy ice. Are we going to be able to go? Because I really want to go on. Why is. Oh, these shoes are just alternate bears. How, I really want to get to the lower level of this. Okay, we are at the low. That, I guess my wish was answered. That's actually kind of funny. So I was like, I really do. Like, oh, this is going to be a weird route, is it? This is, this is a weird route. It's like winding. It's like that one city in uh, X and Y, the caves. So there are caves in this route. That's actually pretty cool. So there's a decent amount here then, right? So this route's probably something I may spend the whole part doing. Really? I mean, I can't stop running into like the best counter possible for Spicy Ice. I'm not even going into Cleaver because a steel type attack would. I just need to hope that uh, Demix can Jackbox, not Demix, Jackbox can either Metal Burst. I have no clue what that move. Does. A dra that's what it's still in rock so drain punch should like one shot it right and give a lot of hp so this is should basically be fully or full heal for jackbox 
So yeah, well, it didn't even kill, but that should still be, yeah. Or well, that's most of the HP plus leftovers though. So yeah, now we're at like full. Yeah, just use Drain Punch again. Oh, what did it? Well, this should still, I'm hoping it deals half because that'll get rid of its defeatist. Okay, that's unfortunate. Because it still has defeatist stuff, because that's its main ability. But once it's below half, it gets rid of defeatist, so it's like halves its attack or something. Yeah, let's just use key bomb here. Ooh, that's this should one shot us. So long. Oh my god, Din. I was gonna say, like, given defeatist is up, I think. Really? I'm that's so annoying. Like the past battles, like for every single Pokemon I fought. I was never able to one-shot it. Always get it low, but never able to one-shot. It's honestly kind of obnoxious. And yeah, this will kill us even with... That's so obnoxious. Here's the thing. Do I even bother sending out... No, I'm not going to send out Spice Days, because, like, Bastiodon just kills it, so... Or it doesn't even have, like, a good attack. That's honestly kind of obnoxious. Like, trainer battling, really. Yeah, we just... We should outspeed this. I'm not even going to use Ice Cold Crash because I know, like, yeah, I was going to say, like, any attack will kill. It's not even going to risk, well, maybe the exception of Great Place, but I don't want to risk the kill. So, that's actually a good thing. And is Cleaver actually going to level up? That'd be really funny because these, I've only used them for, well, anyway, like, it should recover all the HP, but then again, Life Orb would still activate. So, yeah, I mean, I'm still going to lose. Or, well, hold on. No, I should still lose it. Yeah, I was about to say. So, yeah, is that... Yeah, so that should be enough to level up. Nice. So, Cleaver's level 3. Let's see. So many items. I mean, I'll likely just explore that on my own. Like, mainly because... Yeah, I mean, I don't really see a reason to do it now. I'd rather do what I can to get to sort of the uh, next town, right? So... Honestly, I may need to go back and heal because I don't want to train um, Cleaver or Sandman. I want to keep everyone like fairly evenly leveled. It, it sucks that I keep running into Pokemon like that force the switch out for Spicy. Like every single lead Pokemon I've come across so far has a uh, force Spicy Ice to switch out. Can I use Tesseract from here? I don't know. That's honestly, to me, that's just so obnoxious. Like, I think, uh, yeah, every single lead Pokemon I've come across so far is for Spicy Ice to swap out. So is this a Tesseract thing? Okay, then I have no clue what that is. What the hell is this as well? Oh, that was the one sad light the person was. I was like, what the hell is that? Okay, so I have no clue what's down there. I want to see, oh, that's a lot taller than I thought. So... Yeah, I'll, I'll save the cave for later. I assume we need to do something involving that. Is this a trainer? Well, I assume so. Every single train person we've encountered is a trainer. Yeah, this is the trainer. So, yeah, but we're going to get to that um, sad light tower. I assume. Was Zenith there? Or no, I don't even know. No, Zenith said he was going to, like, actually, like, legitimately execute. At least I can fight. Well, it all comes down to who outspeeds. Honestly, this sucks so much. Every single lead Pokemon I've encountered has been encountered as spicy. And of course, it leads. Like, that's. Of course, it's fast. So, that's honestly so obnoxious. Every single one. Every single lead Pokemon I've encountered is completely counter spicy. Like, that's honestly so annoying. So I, I need to go back and heal after this because this is going to be level three. And I don't. That's so obnoxious. Every single one. Because, like, not not joking here. Okay, please. Is my Z-key broken there? No, it's not. Every single one so far hits the spicy ice. That's so obnoxious. Like, trying to train evenly, but, like, it really is. It's not even, like, that many Pokemon counter spicy ice. It's really only fire, fighting, and steel types. Well, I guess... No, because I'm not including rock types. Because spicy ice generally outspeeds those, because rock types are normally slow. But yeah, that's just so obnoxious, really. That's so obnoxious. Yeah, I need to go back and heal. So yeah, this actually kind of sucks as well, given it's a dark type. So I need to use dragon. I guess I don't know why I expected out. 
trade fast, but thankfully you use that as opposed to like a move. That was a crit. Yeah, I can't even use like these like don't miss. Like that'd just be obnoxious if we did. Oh my like they're really gonna do this, right? Because this thing could probably one shot us with right or like any dark type move. Please, like, please just kill it. I mean, we're really playing this game. We're really playing this game. Is it like choice scarf or something? I don't even know. Okay, thank God. Because like, if it would have night slashed us or something and killed us, or like dark pulse, and then none of the our Pokemon could actually deal with it. That's honestly so obnoxious that I need to go back and heal. Did he, he had all three starters from the uh, uh, Kalos region. Excuse me. I, I need to find, like, that's, please use, like, do, like, max damage here. Was that quadruple ineffective? This, oh, it, I, I don't know. This should kill, though. I, I need to find the, um, I assume the fire move tutor is close to, like, the mount base or whatnot. Because, like, a couple, of, like, Demon can learn Flamethrower, and Jackbox can learn Fire Punch. Well, yeah, so we definitely need to go back and kill at this point. It's honestly so obnoxious that every single Pokemon I've encountered has completely countered Spicy Ice. Like, every single lead Pokemon completely countered Spicy Ice. Everyone so far. But to me, that's just the most obnoxious thing, really. Like, because now, I mean, like, that that's just so obnoxious. Like, I actually am trying to train evenly. But, like... The, if for a situation like that, like four or five trainers, every single one of their lead Pokemon counter spicy ice. Like I swapped out my first move for every single one of those battles was to swap out. It's honestly just the worst because now I need to walk all the way back and heal. Like, like that's that literally is just the worst. I mean, it's just so bad. And again, I mean, I'm going to, oh, I see, I see the TM there, but I'm going to ignore this cave for now. I'll likely go in there just on my own, but uh, obviously I assume there's something involved in the tower, right? Like, I, I feel like that's just, that's just like, we can assume that. We may not even be able to continue until like we, if there is like sort of a required event for that. Uh, honestly, this sucks so much that we have to walk. Do I? I don't think I have a bike, but I can actually hold on. We can actually speed the game up by doing this. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. Really? Yeah, we can speed the game up by, uh, we can, I completely forgot this was a feature. It actually would have been very useful. And it doesn't reset too, I don't think. I think it's just extremely laggy, so. Yeah, it's just really laggy. Yeah, I mean, that's that's just so, honestly, it's the most obnoxious thing. Every single lead one. It was literally like for four or five trainers, right? But I mean, there we go. Yeah, just heal. And then, yeah, I need to find the move, remember, ASAP. Okay, no, I actually clicked that a second time, so. Yeah, let's leave. And then I think this is the order I want. Uh, no, Jackbox can swap with uh, Demix. But yeah, this is the order I want, so. Really? Oh no, it's just lagging, so. That's why I'm like, I thought the speed went down, but it's just lag. Yeah, that's why I rarely use this speed, because the lag gets even worse. But, I mean, that's just the amount. That, that really sucked. I mean, like, just, I'm, I'm still going to keep saying that. Because it's the combination of every single Pokemon, lead Pokemon I've run into countering Spicy Ice. And then also just, you know, running into Pokemon that counter, like, my whole team. Like, Chandelure. That's, like, again, you can make it so your team is not countered by a single type. In fact, that's fairly easy. If your team is, if your team is countered by a single type, then that's kind of an issue. But, like, it's almost impossible to make it not countered by like a single Pokemon because there's so many combinations. Okay, yeah, now we can, uh, there we go. Uh, why did we not go back? Okay, so are we somehow, are we on like, 
I, I swore I set it to normal speed. Like, look at this. Hold on, watch. There we go. Why are we still on, like, super speed? What? What? Are we stuck on... How are we still on, like... I don't know. I have no clue. Like, any option I pick, I have no clue what I just did. I'm going to soft reset because honestly, that's, I don't want to be on like super speed so long as I'm not traveling. That's like, I have no clue what that was. Uh, that's, that's just such a pain. I mean, I mean, if I'm not actually like stuck on super speed, because at one point I accidentally clicked it, I think earlier in the series, it was actually like way back in Miara town. And like, I didn't know. Okay. Oh my God, we're actually stuck on this. No matter which one I pick, it's the same speed. Like, no matter which one I pick. I think red, I have no clue. That's honestly, to me, that's such a pain. Like, that's actually such a pain. I don't know. Like, I guess we're stuck on this until that's honestly so I'm not just like, hold on. Because, yeah, hold on. Green, green's supposed to be normal, but it's not. And then yellow and then red. I guess, are we finally on normal speed? No, we're not. This isn't, is this normal speed? I have no clue, honestly. No, it's not. I don't know. That's so, I, I just have to ignore it. That's just so, I'm not, like, I don't know what's going on. Like with that, like let's see, where's our? We need Max Repels because what's the chance that I, I'd be willing to bet I get an encounter here if I don't use a Max Repel? Yeah, it looks like we're stuck on super speed mode. Like I really don't know. Can I change that in options? Because that's gonna be something that just bugs me for the whole time. That I'd rather just tech speed. No, tech speed's all always been the same. That's so obnoxious. I mean, I don't know what it is. Like, really. I don't know what it is. It really is just the most... I guess we're stuck on super speed until... Because... I, I don't know. I think this is the normal one, but uh, clearly it's not. Okay, I assume that Zenith. Wait, what? Can I come back? I guess we're stuck on super speed. That's so obnoxious. Uh, that's so. Is this really something I'm not? Because this is just gonna bug me the whole time. I guess we're stuck on super speed. That's honestly so obnoxious. More than a like. I don't even know what that is. Let's just grab this TM. Flash, okay, that's actually an interesting TM. Like, that's actually a pretty good TM. So it looks like we're just stuck on super speed. Like, I'll try and, I don't even know. Well, like, we may be stuck for the rest of the game. Like, if it's like this. I'm, I'm in the completely wrong category. Like, let's go to, um, it was like 90 something. Like, may because this very well me may be we're just stuck on super speed for the rest of the game. And if so, that's because I just wanted it because, you know, it would just take forever to get back to the PNC because, you know, I had three Pokemon that fainted that I needed to heal or whatnot. That's honestly just so not just like more than anything. Like, okay, TM91. Like, yeah, we're, it looks like we're just stuck on super speed. Spicy Eyes can learn it. That's interesting. Like, look, we're, we're, we're just going to be stuck on this speed for the, that's, that's just going to bother me for, so, Dazzling Gleam, I know, is effective against fighting in a dark. What is Flash Cannon again? Super effective against? Uh, rock, Poison, Fairy, um, Ice. Honestly, I think Flash Cannon may be worth it over Dazzling Gleam. At one point, I, I had the opportunity to give it a different move, Psychic, but that doesn't really do much. Like, this is, 
Looks like we're just stuck on, is it the middle one? No, it's not. Look, we're just, we're literally stuck on this setting for the rest, for the rest of the, honestly, that's just, to me, that's just so obnoxious. Is there a button to reset it or whatnot? Like, no, that's quick save. Okay, did we fix it? Okay, good. I think it, it, it may have been the middle setting that's normal. The other two may be super speed. So it's honestly, I don't trust that. Because I was about to say, we may have gotten different dialogue given we picked no and just went in regardless. Wait, are we supposed to keep moving while it's shaking? Okay, so we are. I have no clue what's going on. What Did Zenith threaten to deal with this i don't exactly know we don't know who's here right now obviously it's one of the cults but we don't know which one i don't i'm not necessarily sure this was part of zenith's plan but it very could well be like this could honestly be any of the cults right like we don't really know who it is until we'll see them i guess zenith makes sense because we just saw him but again we don't know it's like not confirmed it could really be anyone so yeah, let's, I have no clue what the hell is going on here. Like someone's wreaking havoc. Can we go in here? It's a locked door. Some very specific kind of key. So let's find out and see which cult it is. Because honestly, I think that's going to be the most interesting part. Okay, here's your repel. This, this shaking is actually going to be so obnoxious. At least we figured out the uh, speed issue. Really? Can we not get through this door? Oh, what the hell am I looking at? they're really gonna put a make a puzzle like how am i even supposed to solve this like w how do we know what we're oh i see you see the little black uh, lines in the square like there's a black line here and a black line here we're supposed to make them connect right so i think this is a start here there's a something there this likely goes here i think uh nope that's completely wrong uh, this one goes, this one goes here, here then, yeah, and then this goes here, and then, yeah, we need to figure out sort of where, where that line continues. Is it this one? It is that one, and then I assume it's, uh, no, is it that one? Because, no, yeah, so I think this is right, though, so this goes here then. Uh, but I'm no, I think it's, I may have these two mixed up. I guess, I don't know, because the line's supposed to lead somewhere. Am I, can I rotate these? Am I just doing this completely wrong? Because, I mean, I, I may very well be doing this completely wrong, because it may just be trying to connect these two, right? And that may just... I think I'm doing this completely wrong, <laughs> like throwing that out there. I think, let's get these out of the way. I think I just need to connect. Yeah, I think I need to do it like this. Honestly, this is actually going to be like confusing or whatnot. So this is the only piece that fits here, right? Like, does this piece fit here? I guess that piece does fit there. So either one of these two pieces can be there. I think it's this one first though, because here's the thing. We know this, the gray box connects, has to connect to the R1. So I guess, is this the only piece uh, that fits there? Uh, yeah, this is the only piece that fits here. So that's, or what about, hold on, does this piece fit there? No, it doesn't. So. Yeah, this is the only uh, piece that fits here then. So yeah, we need to think about, uh, okay, so how does, is this the, yeah, so that connects there. So I was just completely wrong with what I was looking at. So, so yeah, I think we need to get it up to here. So hold on, does this connect here? It does. So, but obviously, you know, it's more because we still have like three. So, I mean, is it, I don't, this is, this is something that's going to like, this is going to be so obnoxious. Oh my God. I'm not even sure I know, like looking at this, I don't know how to solve it. Like, I'm just kind of guessing like this could connect here. 
this could connect here. But I mean, the blue's got to connect between those, right? Like this has got to be like up here somehow. Like, but here's the thing, right? This, I think that's the only one that connects there. Maybe, I don't know. Like, because I mean, here's the thing. This matches up. But obviously, I don't think that's it. You know, like, I don't think this, this is definitely not it. So, like, I mean, we could just try and go like this and try and fit it all. But I feel like that's not how it works. Like, because then we were left out with these two pieces, right? Like, where would these go? That's the question then. Can, can we rotate these? Maybe if this, no, because again, this, we know this piece goes here. What if we try and solve it the other way around? I feel like that's, I'm likely approaching this wrongly. So this may go here and this may go here and this may go here. Okay, so I may, so let's see. Yeah, I mean, so hold on. These two actually, we know these two go here given that box or whatnot. I may have figured it out. It, it, it just took me a while, I think. Or no, hold on. I think this goes here. This goes here. Yeah, and then, yeah, so this actually is it then, I think. So this isn't it. So one part of do are do the does the I, I think the lines do have to connect. Hold on. I'm I'm an idiot. There we go. That took me longer than I'm proud of. Let's see. Um okay. So I'm I'm gonna be interested to see which cult it is or whatnot, because clearly it's a cult, right? But we really don't know what it is. Like we don't know it could be anyone. Really, I'm gonna it's really just gonna be solving these puzzles like, okay. But yeah, I mean I'm, I'm thinking Zenith, that makes the most sense given he was the last one we saw, but presumably this isn't a part of his plan, so, oh my god, so we are rotating these. Oh, but it's, what the, did they just flip it in time? Okay, how, it's 42 minutes right now, this, I'm saying this will take me till at least 50, Throw, throwing that out there, oh my god. So this is clearly right, I think that so this is correct as well does this one go here i'm trying to figure out so this is correct for this this is correct so this one goes here i think this is correct so i think this goes here it's actually just it, it's the same puzzle you just, they just rotate it so it's actually not that bad yeah like I, we've already got the line part done and yeah so Oh, I clicked the wrong one to shift. So, yeah, this actually, this one was easier. I, I thought it'd be a lot harder. Yeah, then we have uh, this. Yeah, this, this one took a lot less time. I'm surprised the last one took me as much time as it did, but is this right? No, it's not. Yeah, so we put this there. And then I can, those two are probably interchangeable. There we go. That, that one actually took way less time than the previous. Well, I guess it makes sense too, right? Like despite it having one added requirement, we ultimately know what it looks like. Let's see, okay, what the hell is in here? That looks like something fairly important. I see two, we, again, who the hell is that? That's a Scraggy. That's not even a human being. Yeah, that's a Scraggy. So we don't know what the hell that is. Oh my God, so we're rotating. Oh, so it's, hold on, it's just shifted in a completely different direction. So yeah, now it's uh, sideways or whatnot. Does that actually correlate here? It does. This, this still shouldn't be that hard though. So yeah, because the parts are relatively the same. So yeah, that goes here. And then yeah, that goes here. Did, did I screw this up? I might have screwed this up. Yeah, that doesn't go there. So this is the right way for this then. Oh no, I may have screwed up. Let's try and get, is this the same puzzle or different puzzle? So yeah, this goes here. 
I have no clue. Hold on. Let me figure out because which I need to figure out which piece is okay. So this piece starts here. Yeah, hold on. Let me. And then which piece? Yeah, I'm kind of confused here. Well, first off, this piece can't go here. That piece has to go here because this piece goes here as a result. Yeah, so. Yeah, and then old. Yeah, so this, I, I just had the order screwed up or whatnot. Let's not. Oh my God, really? It's because the uh, shift key, I, I use the enter key to input actions, and this shift key is like right next to it, but it also is like part of it or whatnot. But then, okay, yeah, hold on, I'm an idiot, because then this part goes here, right? Yeah, there we go. So yeah, that actually wasn't as bad. Slightly more difficult, but where's the R1? It's with this yellow one. So I wonder, because presumably this is the last one, right? Given we see some scraggy, which may actually be relevant. I wonder which cult it is, though. Because again, we have seemingly, it could be anyone, really. I think Zenith makes the most sense, given we just seen him. But I don't see how this applies to um, his sort of grand plan or the grand plan of the Infernal Cult or whatnot. So this could presumably be anyone, right? Again, that's what it comes down to. Okay, so let's... So who is it? Because again, that is literally a scraggy right there. So wait, what the hell is that? This was completely irrelevant to the story. That's a Delta Pokemon. Oh, wait, but hold, hold on. Here's the thing though, right? The guy apparently needed our help. Is That's a Delta Pokemon, right? Okay, that actually, that's a Delta Pokemon. Oh my God was completely irrelevant Delta Cyndaquil. Oh, I'm going to catch that. But anyway, I'm, no, I'm going to do that off camera. That was completely irrelevant to the story. <laughs> oh my god. So, I thought that was relevant to the story. Oh my god. So, we could have just not done that. I'm not going to capture it because, like, you know, even it is, I will capture it, just not on camera because let's say it has two different abilities i'll just soft reset until i get the right one so yeah this is just completely irrelevant to the story then so that's honestly kind of obnoxious they did all that work because i thought like you know okay this is something that needs to happen right we got to deal with whoever's screwing around with the satellites or whatnot like that guy said but ultimately it's just for a delta so obviously i'm going to capture it though throwing that out there but unfortunately it looks to be ice type and i already have two ice type deltas so that's going to be a no-go like not not going to use that or whatnot so yeah i'll just obviously i'll capture it and then I'll also i want to get back here though at some point like maybe that's like something perfection related because we know they had a base above uh mechi town that you need like some sort of key to get so yeah, because look, this guy makes it seem as though, you know, it's like cult attack. He's like, what am I going to do since the locks are all fried? I can't look for whoever got in. But it was a freaking, what's the chance? Okay, I was about to say, what's the chance I get an encounter? But it was an encounter. So, yeah, we came from upwards, though. So, we can continue. No, we didn't come from upwards. Did we? No, we didn't because we came this way. Yeah, so, hold on. Let me just, just double check to make sure I'm not an idiot. Like, I'm pretty sure, yeah, we came from upwards. This is a new direction we haven't gone in. I may be an idiot and proven wrong. Okay, so what's this then? Trainer tip. Pavement on route. Okay, so yeah, this. Let's see, hold on. So what the hell is that guy? This is like the most suspicious thing in existence. What is this guy even doing? Let's see, listen here, buckle. I'm the sketchy salesman. Want to buy a couple TMs? Oh, yeah, I promise you. Oh, which TM? Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Which TMs does he have, though? Sludge Bomb, Facade, Swords Dance, Grass Knot, Power Up Punch. None of these are really useful. Like, none of them are useful, but I guess I'll come. Wait, but here's the thing, though. So this cave presumably leads to the next route. Well, this... Okay, so I don't know. I think the cave leads towards... Uh, the next town, Amphrite City, or it's actually, yeah, say Amphrite City. Well, the route down leads to the, I think it's Gaia Town or whatnot. Yeah, it is Gaia Town, I'm pretty sure. That's the town below us that was above uh, Helio City that we couldn't really access just yet. I want to go down here and see if there's anything. Like, okay, I'm actually going to use a uh, repel because any more than like two steps of grass, I know I'm going to get an encounter for. So, <laughs> yeah. 
let's see, repel, so that should be fine. Okay, there's a hidden grotto there, so I can get a delta. Yeah, so there's more trainers or whatnot. So, yeah, so we can battle on this one. Let's see, are you an experienced trainer? I'd love to have a hand that game better. Well, I mean, well, at this point, I've beaten the game three times. Andre twice, Yaren once, uh, first of all, once. Oh, that's actually, well, it's not the worst matchup because of, uh, that's actually pretty nice. We have, um, what is it? Uh, lightning rod. Can't really touch up. Like, I don't think it learns anything besides, uh, electric attacks, or at least anything. Like, yeah, quick attack, that's going to do an old. Yeah, that's like those attacks. Yeah, so I mean, can't believe I went completely out of my way. I legitimately thought that was part of the story, like that we needed to do, but it was it was a freaking Delta Pokemon. And this is, okay, yeah, that's a shitty Pokemon. It's just normal type, like, doesn't really do anything. Oh. Take back my words. But Cleaver can just, well, no, Cleaver's a level 7, so we want to use it. We can, yeah, Demix or uh, Jackbox. Like they both have fine type moves, so they should one shot this thing on current HP. Yeah, I mean, I just kill it. Right? Yeah, I mean, that kind of sucks that spicy ice died though. Because I'm definitely not going to go back and heal at this point. Like we're super farm. Well, okay, I guess you're welcome. Thank you. Like that was a legitimate battle. So then, what's this way though? Like, that's the question. Okay, so that's just a different part of the cave. And again, I'm leaving that cave to my own means. Like, I'd rather just, I'll, I'll like, record progression of the story. But, like, the cave or whatnot, as well as the hand grotto. And, well, now we know the whatever was going on in there, the uh, satellite tower or whatnot. I honestly thought that was cultist-related, given what the dude said. But it was just a delta, so that wasn't even... Honestly, I'll just buy all the TMs from that guy, because, I mean... I'd rather I'd have them, or I'd just like I'd want them regardless, even if like they're not too useful. Like, so yeah, sketchy salesman. Let's see, buy just buy them all again. How much do they cost though? I guess that's the question. Oh, they're only three thousand two. The TMs in um, I'm pretty sure the TMs in uh Helio City cost like ten thousand or something. So like. Yeah, just give me all the TMs. So, and we're going to actually go down here because I'm going to try and get to Gaia Town. Wait, maybe this also, hold on. Actually, I rescind my thought. This likely also leads to the cave system. This is probably the way to Amphrite City. So, for whatever reason, I thought you could access Gaia Town, but looking at the map, that's not a possibility. So, yeah, we are in Amphrite City then. How do you get down there? I don't even know. Have because we know, again, we know the Infernal Cults after the Rain Team Leader, Light, or Rain Team Leader. So there's some relevance here. Welcome to Amphrite State, the city by a lake. Is that all it's known for? While you're here, be sure to check out our gym. It's sure to be a tough challenge. We know they have a team or a leader that revolves this team around the rain. So is that actually what they say he's known for, just being a city by a lake? Oh, that was a sauce book. I'm like, what the hell is that? Taking my competitive quiz? Uh, sure. Okay, how competitive is it? Okay, that was it. Okay, so there's three more then. I hate questions like that. Let's see. Which of these Pokemon is the slowest? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, I'm... Let's guess. Slowpoke, right? Okay, uh, no, I'm not. That's, that's, that's too competitive for me. I don't have like knowledge of every single rare and legendary Pokemon migraine to Torn. All the legendary Pokemon are here. What do you mean migrating? Where did it exist previously? Wonder why it is. What, again, this region has like all the legendaries. Well, Tain at least had the Unova Trio. Yeah, I'll, I'll answer that quiz later and get whatever reward. I've been trying to fish in the ponds around town, but nothing so far. Guess they need to be more than an inch deep to find fish. And our news water is what? Well, I mean, yeah, because, you know, fish need to live there, right? So... Yeah, I'll answer that quiz on my own time. I, I don't have knowledge of, like, all the stats of Pokemon, so I'll, I'll just look it up and solve it. So I feel like Slowpoke was a good guess, though. Did I talk to this person? 
in my favorite place in the region. So peaceful and friendly here. Uh, Zenith's about to show up. <laughs> like, is he going to ruin that? Uh, why is it? Who the hell? That's the next gym leader. Because I was about to say, I saw them walking, and I'm like, uh, do NPCs usually walk like that? And that's freaking Nora. And then that's clearly the gym leader, the one uh, Diana was named, right? He's the rain team leader. I mean, look at his hair. So that's the guy. The person we're looking at right now is the one that, um, uh, what's his face? Zenith is after. The Infernal calls after that person, that individual person, the gym leader. It's actually kind of funny looking at because our our hair is like dark red and this is like deep blue, like deep red, deep blue. It's actually like, oh my God, look at the freaking, like look at this. Look at the, hold on, I'm actually going to take a picture of this. It's funny because look at our hair. Our hair is deep red. Nora's is deep green. That guy's is deep blue. Hold on. There we go. We look like freaking um, Silent Crest in... I don't even remember which, uh, what their all names were, but yeah, it's like this. We look like the three gym leaders from a uh, Unova. That's actually really funny. Silent Crest and I don't know. I don't know the last persons. Like, but yeah, that's actually really funny. This is Calry. He's a gym leader vamp right. Imagine naming your son Calry. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Before I met my girlfriend Diana. She called a hen, told me to, but she didn't tell you about the. Well, I guess she doesn't even know about the Infernal Cult, but obviously that's something we should relay to him, given we know, okay, that's who they're after now. Let's see, I've been looking all over for you, too. Why? Like, why, though? Like, we're, we're just trying to chill and explore the town. Like, give us a moment before we battle the gym. I've heard all the stories. Kids who took down a cult. Like, why is he, like, why are we doing this? Obviously, you know, we're not just going to straight up battle the gym leader. Like, there may be an interaction with Zenith or whatnot. Let's see, it's a bit embarrassing, really. We gym leaders should really be helping you out. But here's the thing, though. We know, and I've been saying this for so long, the gym leaders in this game straight up aren't good people. Like, Orion just handed Reshiram over to Tane, which I guess that's not even necessarily as a bad person, just kind of dumb. But he's a good person. Like, Orion's a good person. Xavier, he's a freaking stoner who ran Vipic City into the ground and is literally everywhere but Vipic City. Like, we just saw him in, like, Selene City. Freaking East was literally a front for the Sky Cult. Uh, freaking Harmony was the one who told us to go warn Anastasia as opposed to look for Damien. And then lo and behold, Damien's now a human Deoxys freak. Anastasia literally dealing with Tane. Like, I'm not sure how much more, like, direct... I'm not sure how much more directly you could be helping the cults than just, like, you know, being a part of them, right? Like, making, making freaking Pokemon armor for a cult admin, that's especially for legendaries. Like, I'm not really sure how much more you could be helping them than that besides directly working for them. And at least Diana, she was seemingly fine, but we know she's the sister of Persephone, so that kind of draws her into that, right? And uh, presumably she's the reason why Persephone is the way she is, given she, Diana abandoned her and Persephone got captured. And granted, our theory along that lines is that Persephone Obviously, she's the present leader of the Dark Ride Cult, but presumably she got kidnapped and indoctrinated into them. That's what our theory was, right? That given Diana's inherent connection to Dark Ride, the, the initial, the original Dark Ride Cult was after her and then managed to get Persephone instead, right? Given she was abandoned and captured by Diana. But, and then she was, you know, indoctrinated and groomed into being their next leader. So that's kind of our theory. So the gym leaders, I mean, they don't have a reputation for being good people, right? So this guy's saying that. I mean, I I expect nothing from gym leaders this game. It's it's not like freaking black and white where you have the gym leaders who, like, showed up to the Team Plasma Castle and fought off the Seven Sages or whatnot. Like, the gym leaders this game aren't good people. I expect none of that. And we know this – the call, and we know – oh, my God, this is the kicker. We know the Infernal Cult's after this guy, too. So, like, okay. I mean, I plan on it. Diana and I would love to join you, too, if you're willing. Join us for what? But I can help you out much better by introducing you to someone. Who's, no, Nora's red text. So, it's definitely this guy speaking. Introducing us to what? To who? We know the Infernal Cult's after this guy. We don't care who he has to introduce us to. We just want to roam the town, like, chill for a bit, and then bow the gym. But we don't want, we don't care about me and anyone now. Who is he going to show us? When I was younger, I lived in the Aroma region. 
we don't need what the hell is that that's just a completely made up region that doesn't even make, that's like non-actual region my best friend and i were accomplished pokemon trainers and i guess someone took notice so are you introducing us to your best friend whoa hold on we're both chosen by pixie pokemon my friend was chosen by victini that's interesting so him and his friend were also chosen by mystic pokemon i don't know why i call him pixie mystic sounds so much better that's interesting okay that's i wasn't paying attention until he said that so so he was chosen by manfi i guess that makes sense why he's like the rain team leader then right but we know zenith is after him so that's the only thing we really care about like his he has a best friend and was chosen by uh mystic pokemon cool but story-wise what's relevant is that okay the infernal cult's after this guy how does that play out he works for someone else now i promised i'd let him know if i found anyone else chosen by the pixies and he's referring to austin Nora. like so presumably we're gonna meet his friend then like i don't see who else it could be but like th again how is this relevant i guess that's the question i don't know like uh, this is shady this is suspicious like i really don't care for this like I just want to beat the gym leader, stop the infernal cult. That's all I care about. Like his friend, don't care about. Like I'd appreciate it if you two could see him. He has an interest in you. How does he already know about us? How does he have an interest in us? Like I, that's just this. This is just as suspicious and shady as what Zenith was doing in Orano's town, like handing out free vaccines. Actually, just straight up brainwash you. Like this is just as suspicious and shady. I don't trust this guy. Like this guy's. Given the fact that the Infernal Cult's after this guy, and this guy's talking about his friend who's interested in us and being chosen by, like, mystics, I don't trust this guy. Like, there's a cave in the lake to the south. Just continue through. You can't miss it. I promise you, you're on the same side. You have a common enemy. This, this doesn't tell us we're on the same side. If anything, this tells us that he is potentially our enemy, but just hates whoever we're dealing with more. This is, like, the most shady, suspicious thing. We're going to freaking walk into, like, a trap. Like, I'm calling it out. He said he has something to give you. What if his buddy is Rukra? That'd be interesting, because here's the thing. I guess who, the R Pokemon, the R one was chosen by Victini. I don't know. I mean, like, I, there's no possible way to predict who his buddy. Like, this is just the most suspicious, shady thing ever. We're, we're not doing this. Come see me when you get back. I run the gym here after all. You can have your challenge. Really? So... You can get your badge and we can discuss strategy. Sound good? So we really have to do this first. I'm not doing that. That's the most suspicious, shady thing in existence. That was a nice conversation he had with himself. Thanks. We don't care about Nora at this point. We're still not on good terms with Nora because she was the one who freaking, her and Harmony, we, we're not on good terms with either of them. I'm curious though. I'm going to head into the cave. Pfft, good luck. She's probably going to die. Like that's the most suspicious. I know I shouldn't trust him so easily, but if he really was chosen by Manfi, he can't be that bad. I, I don't trust this. This is suspicious and shady as hell. I don't trust this. Be nice if you could join me, though. Hopefully, I'm not walking in a trap. You are. Jeez, we really can't trust anyone, can we? I'll see you in the cave. I'm going to do everything else first, and then I'll likely end the video, because that's just the most shady thing in existence. Like, that's... Okay, at first thing, I thought that was Rukra, and I'm like, what? That piece of junk TV is barely ever on. It's showing, always showing static. There's a constant war between the rain and the engineers who repair. You'd think they just put a roof over it. Of course, the one time per month that it does work, everyone pays rapt attention. Usually when it's on, the messages are important, so we have to see them. What TV? I don't even know. I'm, I'm exploring this town first. I'm not freaking doing whatever that was. Like, that's the most shady, suspicious thing ever. Okay, it's the auger. Oh, say, youngster, I'll make you a deal. I've always been interested in the myth of the djinn. How does it, what? I don't even know what that is. If you can show me, what the hell is the djinn? I have no clue what that is. That's the motion. That's so shady and suspicious. Like the people in this town, like so shady and suspicious. Noibat for any dark type, but Noibat isn't that good though. Well, I guess no, it's actually pretty good. But I mean, is it worth trading a Pokemon for? I traded a Gibble for a Pokemon. Why are there escape ropes lying everywhere? I dyed my hair to mess the in the sand. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Good for you. We dyed our hair because it's the color of our actual hair. I mean, that, that was actually really funny. We really did look like the three freaking uh, gym leaders from, I don't even know what city it was in black and white. It was like Silent, Crest, and, oh, no, oh, it was Chili. I forgot his name was actually Chili. That's, that's really funny. We, we looked like those three gym leaders from Univall. That was really funny.
<laughs> it honestly was so funny. Let's see. I went traveling in a cave to the south, but there wasn't much interested there. Sure, there were a few pretty Chris. There were a few pretty crystals. There's no way that's where Yaren went. Like, I don't know who else. Like, there's nothing interesting down there. It's a shame. It's such a pretty. There's no way that's where Yaren was, because we know he was in some sort of palace, right? Like, there's no. Okay, so I'll explore this Pokemon Center later. I just want to hit all the houses, right? Like, if there's anyone on the second floor that's. No, I might as well. I'll just make this a longer part. Honestly, that's. There's no way that's where Yaren was. There's no way. Was he really referring to Yaren? I mentioned Rukra, but was he really referring to Yaren? I mean, given it's a crystal, but no. Because Cal Reed, I don't care about him. Like, I don't care about this right now. But there's no possible way. Because we know Yaren went to some sort of palace. About the cave and the lake and some good things too. What? It's a beautiful crystalline cave. You'll find yourself blocked off by what? Some of the noises I've heard for... Is that... Is that really where Yaren is? Was he really referring to Yaren? Is... Was that... Was Calreath... The shade of Mount Rose. Oh, that's nice. There's a town up near a summit, but I couldn't imagine living there. It'd be way too cold. Was... Was he really referring to Yaren? That's the question. Calreath is a mega, never seen before by any regions. Uh, well, I mean, we know it's a water type. Actually, never mind. I can literally just look it up. Okay, let's bet. Uh, no, th that's actually Mega Whale Lord. That's my bet. I'm throwing that out there. Mega Whale Lord. That's, uh, okay, so, but the, I, I, there's no way he's referring to Yaren. I mean, because we know, again, Yaren was at a palace, but given they're stressing the fact that it's crystal, I mean, was it really Yaren? Because, I mean, that would explain why he was acting so shady or suspicious describing this individual. Because, you know, it's freaking Yarn, the auger and Sky Cult. There's, there's no way. Was he really referring to Yarn? Because then if that's the case, there's the implication of, oh, Yarn was chosen by Victini. There's an implication there with that. I mean, was he really referring to Yarn? I have no clue. I've been growing berries in these bushes for some time. There's really not much, but we have to share. Okay, can I... So presumably there's a berry there, then. Was he really referring to Yaren? I have lots of youthful energy. Be thankful that I do not challenge you. Your team would be about mincemeat to me. Just like when... Just like the way when I train. Whey protein. It's honestly pretty good, though. But was he really referring to Yaren? I mean... There are a lot of urban myths about the cave and the lake to the south. People say they can see the spirits of incredible trainers. That's a low baloney. They probably just saw some people look like them. I don't know, though. Here we got engaged. My hubby and I moved out here. A lot of people don't, but I really love it here in Amphrey. It's such an atmospheric place, especially with the damp floor all the time. It leaks. I lied. I loathe it here. I'm like, uh, this is making it seem otherwise. But th that's the question. Is it? Was it really Yarn? Is it really Yarn? I mean, because then the implication is that, oh, Yarn was chosen by Victini. That's got to mean something. There's no way. Okay, there's a P. Oh, hold on. I can actually give him the Pika Taxi part right now. Uh, I can give him the Pika Taxi part, like, right now. Hold on. Like, let's let's do that, actually. Yeah. Uh, let's do Quest. Well, you see, I have a small garage in Torn where I live and maintain my taxi. I was so close to finishing this awesome upgrade, but my garage was broken into. The pieces were stolen. Only two pieces are stolen, thankfully. I have one of them. It might be buried up the mountain, for all I know. Let me know if you find both of them. Oh, so I need both of them first. All right. Because we have one part. There's, there's no way he was referring to Yaren. Like, I mean, but they're stressing the fact that it's a crystal cave. Could that, but no. But here's the thing, though. Okay, what the, I can already see the cave. But I mean, there's the implication that if it is Yaren, he was chosen by any... No, it definitely can't be Yaren, because here's the thing, right? We know that Yaren went to a palace. He didn't ultimately go to, like, a crystal cave. He, see, he went to a palace that was seemingly just nowhere, in, like, in the region, right? It was just, like, completely, it was in a completely different space. Like, we didn't even see it. Yeah, there's no way it was Yaren, because he went to the palace, and then ultimately, you know, 
like there, there's the implication that if it is Yaren, Yaren was chosen by Victini. But it would make sense, you know, why this guy's being suspicious. And also the fact that they're stressing so hard that it's a crystal cave. Obviously, we can't go to the gym, but I, I'm, I don't know. It'd be really cool if it was Aaron. Because I mentioned Rukra just because, oh, maybe it is. I don't know. Somebody in this town selling an egg. I wonder why there are so many shady egg deals in this region. That's actually true. I've seen almost one in every town with a gym. That is true. Hold on. So that's an item. Is that a master ball? That's a master ball. How the hell do we get there? And that's literally a master ball. How do we get that? This guy's blocking the way too. Would you like to trade Pokemon? I'll trade you my Delta Shuckle. We, we got to get that. Okay. That. How do we get the master ball? I don't know. Can we actually get a master ball? Like that actually be really funny. On the gym maybe maybe we need to beat the gym in order to get it because if there's a master ball then presumably okay oh my god it actually says we actually can't even enter the gym i was hoping we could at least enter it but i don't know whether or not he's referring to yarn i feel like the part that you know okay it's a crystal cave that's kind of an allusion to yarn to it being yarn but then again it's like yarn he went to a palace in it wouldn't make sense to be Yarn, given the implication of him being chosen by a mystic. Another life orb. That's actually pretty interesting. But I only need one for Cleaver. Like, so... How do we How do we even get there? Like, how do we even get that Master Ball? I don't even know. Let's see. Okay, so... I guess that's the way to the Mount Base or whatnot, right? So... Oh, those are Cofagrigus. You know the old Hoenn champion, Steven, I think his name was. I remember reading some of... No! This game takes place 30 years after the events of Alpha Sapphire. One person prior mentioned that you see the spirits of dead, powerful trainers in the cave. So that is... Steven's dead. Living in Amfred City is really weird. It rains and it's wet everywhere, but nobody's bothered by it. Like, the property value is ridiculously low here. Floors have leaks, and some roofs do too. It's a nightmare. Then why are you living here? So he's actually dead, and his spirit is actually in the cave. Okay, give me that normal potion. Like, I mean, that's, oh my god. There's no way they're referring to Yarn. Tell you what. I'm not, I'm not taking the egg. I haven't taken an egg this whole game. In my first run and playthrough, I bought every egg I could and hatched it. But they're all, like, garbage Pokemon. Like, the only ones that are worth it are, like, trading for the Delta Shuckle. Like, that's interesting. Okay, so obviously that's the way to the next route. I tried hiking up Mount Rose, but it was a nightmare traveling up there. Now they've got Border Patrol. And no. Annoying. So presumably Border Patrol, I think that's, that's likely um, Zenith just kind of trolling, like setting up Inferno Cults is like, patrol members or whatnot because there's no way it's like okay there's oh that's actually a force what the hell am i that's the tv they're referring to it's literally like a giant tv like billboard that was loud oh we no way flamethrower that's actually a tm i needed because i'm like why can't we move like what's the oh i was about to say what's the chance there's an item there oh my god look at that tv it's literally like a freaking billboard this whole region is just, like, influenced by propaganda. Like, no, literally the whole region is just, like, brainwashed. That's, that's a really interesting take on a Pokemon region. Oh, did we go? I'm not sure we went in these houses yet. I, I think these are the last two places we need to hit up. Yeah, we haven't been to this house yet. Here, the champion of the Torn is this super mysterious figure that only shows up once in a while. Thing is, hardly anyone's being the elite force, so nobody ever challenges them. Can't wait for somebody to finally get there. Finally, we know who the champion is. Um, oh, so that's what the TV is for. Honestly, I have no clue what could, who it could possibly is. Or who the champion could possibly be. Like, uh, how is that something we're supposed to predict? Obvious. Wait, what? Minor with an O, but E. Because we said the champion can't be Yaren because he's the auger. It's not going to be like, okay, he's both the champion and the auger because that makes no sense. I, in, I think in my first runner playthrough, I mentioned that, oh, it'd be pretty cool if it was Rukra or whatnot. Okay, like, chilling. 
tier, right? What's your work? Is he like a biker guy? I don't even know. But I've been saying it would be cool if it was like Rukra, given like Rukra seemingly just does nothing. Everyone plays and catches Pokemon. They're not real. Everything about a thing before you're allowed to be a fan of it. But I was saying it'd be cool if it was Rukra, given how Reef are you? I, I know, but like, I'm, 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 oh my God, I actually clicked enter once again. But I was going to say it'd be cool if it was Rukra, given we don't really know the power of Rukra. We know he's powerful given that he's the boss of Tane, who just casually had the Unova trio. What? Okay, I guess there's a lot of stuff I'm going to do off camera. <laughs> like, that's actually funny. But yeah, it'd be, because that would just be another sign, like, that would be sort of a confirmation of Rukra's power, right? If he was the champion? I mean, because, so can we even see the TV? No, we can't even see it. Can We can't even get on that ledge. Okay, yeah, so I think we're done here. I think that was the last place we need to visit. But again, just kind of to conclude, I guess two things. One, and this is just what I was talking about, but I think in the previous player run-through, I mentioned, oh, it'd be really cool if Rukro was the champion because we've seen the power of Tain. He just casually has the Uva Trio, but we know rukra has got to be stronger than him. But the only evidence we have for that is that, you know, he's just his boss, right? But it'd be really cool if he was a champion because then they'd be like, oh, yeah, of course he's stronger than him because he's a champion and he's no one's even gotten to him yet. And then also the fact that, you know, he doesn't really do anything. Like, he obviously, like, he kind of just meddles around. Like, he didn't really – like, it's Tane. Like, Tane himself said he had the most important job. So, like, Rukra's just kind of chilling, and it makes sense. You know, like, I guess, like, in his, like, downtime, he's just, like, the champion, like, casually. That'd be really cool, but – like, we don't know. Like, that's something we can't know until we get to it. Like, it could just be some other – it could be, like, freaking Nora for all we care. Like, it, just anyone we know, like, I guess. And then also, the question is whether that guy was referring to Yarn or not. Whether – whether Cal Reese was referring – that was loud. Whether Cal Reese's friend was Yarn. Because I think, no, I think it's unlike, but here's the thing. Because the evidence against it is, oh, Yarn went to a palace. And then also the implication would be that Yarn was chosen by Victini, right? That'd be the implication that Yarn himself is a mystic Pokemon. But the evidence for it is they really stress the fact that the caves are crystal, like special. It's like a crystalline cave that's extremely special. And then also the fact that, you know, that... I guess he was being real shady when describing his friend. Like, that would make sense why, you know, oh, his friend is Yarn. Like, he doesn't want to straight up say, oh, yeah, I know Yarn. Because then, like, you know, um, obviously, you know, we wouldn't want to meet him then. And that would also make sense why his, basically, I guess, I don't know, why his first, the first thing you would say about him is that you have a common enemy. Like, because Yarn obviously hates the cults. We hate the cults, but Yarn also, like, that's the issue, right? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It could be anyone, I, but our prime suspect right now is Yam, but that doesn't mean it is. So we're going to end it here because it's been a while. Um, yeah, I'll do everything else off camera. The next thing we'll do is, I guess, just going to see who it is he was referring to in the Crystal Cave. So, yeah, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.